Hello everyone, this is Lul Master here, and I'm going to start a new let's play of the original Mega Man of, uh, of, uh, of the classic series. This has been one of my fav uh, favorite series of all time. I have always loved the Mega Man, the Mega Man franchise uh, since the beginning. I bl I play both the uh, classic and X series, and I plan to do the. Uh, a series of let's play of those games, probably. So why not start with the original, the the very first Mega Man that, that it came out, Mega Man One. So let's start, shall we? So in this game, you have six uh, robot masks to choose from. Unlike the uh, later game in the series, where they have they always had eight. This uh, this game only had uh, six, as you can see. So I think I'm going to start with uh, Bomber because I think he's is he is a star. He's a good robot man to start off with. So here we are in the class of Mega Man. Mega Man can jump and shoot at the same time and fire his Mega Buster shots, as you can see here. And here we have a uh, sort of a weird enemy. I don't. Uh, whatever they are called, the Harper enemies. They are not uh, too, uh, terribly tricky to deal with. Here we have some bombs that, for some reason, explode into pieces. Again, not very hard to get around. Here we have screw bombers. They fire uh, pellets occasionally, as you can see. So yeah! Ow! Ow! Take it easy there. Here we have a sniper yo! A fairly common enemy in the Mega Man franchise. They, uh, they have a shield to deflect the shots and sometimes uh, fire shots at you. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. As you can see in the, in the, in the top, uh, top, top of the screen, there is a score system in this game. I don't know why there is that, because this is the only Mega Man game where we have score. And uh, they got rid of it after this game, because, well, score is kind of pointless for this game anyway, so I don't see any point in this. But well, that's what it, that's what they did back then. And uh, as you can see, those enemies that are kind of like from Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario franchise called Bullet Bill. Oh, what's Dave there for a second? And those spikes are instant death, so. Don't try to get trapped by them. Oh, nice dodge there. Hello, come here. Yeah, jumping around. And he's glitching through the wall. <laughs> That's kind of silly. And here we have another sniper. Here. Yeah, and we are already at the bus door. And uh, only in this game, there are, there are actually enemies between the doors, between the bus doors. Where, where? Yeah. So now we are uh, at Bombman. Bombman is not uh, that tricky to deal with. Uh. One thing to his pattern is that he threw balls, but as long as you're running at, uh, towards him, close to him, he will always try to jump away from him, so you can try to take that to your advantage. So yeah, bo uh, Bomber is not that hard to deal with, even if I took some damage at the beginning. So yeah, first stage down. That wasn't so bad. 
So first boss down. So now uh, we're going to go after Fireman. I I always like uh, really like Fireman stage. I like his design and his background, and I really like uh, like his music as well. All music from the Mega Man series ha 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 has always been good. The Mega, the Mega Man franchise has always had one of the best music in the video game, uh, video games. In my, in my opinion, of course. Like the Mega Man franchise and the Zelda franchise is uh, my favorite sound soundtracks of all video games. Truth be told. Ah, annoying fire pillars. Oh, I, I actually dodged that time. Normally, that that fire stream is very hard to get to get through. Otherwise, but I, I managed it. So this this stage, oh. This stage has a, has a lot of fire pillars and a lot of uh, tackle fires. Those enemies are called. They fly upwards and uh, down towards them. And funny enough, you, you, you can stand in this uh, place. I don't know how, but if you look down, you can see there's a platform there or a ground floor. Ah, oh, okay. And I'm playing pool today. Oh, Jesus! That was dumb. Oh well, this this shake point here anyway, so. No matter. More fire pillars. Oh, god damn it. They came out of nowhere. As you can see there. <laughs> This part is really hard to get uh, to get through no damage. You have you, you need to have perfect timing to, to get through them safely. And I don't think I can manage it. Ah, stop going down the ladder. Nope. You have you need to have perfect timing to get through this safely without taking damage. Oh there, yeah, I uh I the second time. That's unusual. <laughs> More bullet bills here. And more uh, spinal analogs, or what, or whatever they're called. So yeah, I think we are at the boss now. Yes, 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 we are. We have some screw bombers up there. Not, not that bad to deal with. And now we are up to Fireman, yes! One thing you never want to do when you fight Fireman is to uh, spa uh, spam fire at him, because if you do that, he will do the same. What you want to do is fire only one shot at a time and jump over his Firestorm. That way, he will uh, do the same to you. Ah! Managed to hit it, that's it, but oh well. Now! Fireman is defeated, and from him we get the Firestorm, and yes, I forgot to mention, you get weapons when you defeat the bosses, and you get fire, uh, the weapon Firestorm for Fireman. So, I may so shoot it off. So, let's go, let's go at the Cutman, which usually is also a, a, a very good starting point in this game, with fun, man. Oh, this music is so uh, uh, original. So, such good memories and uh, uh, member, memorable song. And uh, while I'm at it, I may as well show how the weapons are. So now I'm uh, now I'm showing off uh, Fireman's Firestorm. You, 
it gives you a shield around you that does damage to enemies and uh, you also have a projectile. Which is kind of use uh, which is a fairly useful weapon. I'm, I I must admit one of uh, one of the useful ones in this game. As you can see there, the other one uh, from Bo that we got from Bomb Man, not so much. Uh, when you're using bomb as weapon, it does a blow up on contact. You have to wait a couple seconds in, uh, before it detonates, which can be kind of un uh, unwieldy to use in uh, some situations. But hey, at least it do at least it does a lot of damage, or that's something, I guess. Also, these enemies are called uh, obstacle batteries. They go uh, back and forth through wall uh, on the walls. Not that hard to deal with, honestly. They always go in the same direction. Sorry, I, I, I was caught up with the music. <laughs> so, I think we are, we are uh, half on the stage, and uh, in situations like this, uh, the hype boom can be somewhat useful, I guess. Like so. Let's pick up these guys. I normally don't use uh, robot massive weapons all that much, but I may may as well sort them out. Because why not? More uh, helicopter things, whatever whatever they're called. And uh, one funny funny glitch I, uh, glitch I may point out. Pick <laughs> Yeah, that, 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 that's kind of fun at least to do. And here we have a, a, a big enemy called the big guy. They take a lot of shots to destroy, and they are still. Okay, I didn't get hit. Oh, thank God. Yeah, Th those enemies they, they take a lot of hits. I think twenty hits or something, and they deal a, a lot of damage, like a, like a third of your health bar. So, you don't want to get hit by their enemies. But all they do is short and uh, high hops towards you. And you can you can only really dodge them by making them do high hops and etc. But here we have Cutman, and Cutman is really easy to deal with. You can kind of lock him, lock him into this pad, um, as you can see here. Just knock him in down because he suffers from a knockback. Uh, suffers for some knockback, and Cutman is not really an issue whatsoever. And now we just defeated three bosses already. This is going uh, really well, actually. Despite I played kind of poorly, anyway. <laughs> However, I think I'm gonna cut this part here, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next part, which should come out fairly soon, I hope. So yeah, see you then!